All right, so I'm back in BGC. I um, already met a girl. I just got back here like an hour or two ago and I went to the Uptown Mall to get a Starbucks and um, to get some other things. And there was a girl that was sitting at the bottom of the escalator, standing at the bottom of the escalator, one of those um, girls that sells like facials and whatever, you know, products or whatever. I'm not sure if she's working for a commission or whatever, but very beautiful girl. And she, I asked her where Pen Shop was because I was looking for a Sando. Um, and she goes, oh, um, Pen Shop is, um, we don't have a Pen Shop because another girl that worked at Dior said that they did. And um, I go, oh, okay. Well, uh, someone told me there was, and then we got to talking, and then she was kind of making small talk and asking how young I was uh, instead of saying how old you are. And I'm all like, oh, that's a good one. And then um, I don't know, like we got to talking, and I was like, oh, have you been with a foreigner before? And she's like, no. And I'm like, oh, you like Filipinos? And she's like, no, hell no. And then I was like, okay, so you've been working in BGC because we had talked a lot already. And she said she'd been working for two years in BGC. And you're telling me that, you know, foreigners don't try to get your number every day. She's an above average looking girl, you know, probably like a solid seven or eight or nine, whatever. She's probably an eight. Um, and she's like, yeah, yeah, no, they always try, but I know what they're looking for and this and that. And I go, oh, okay. And then I was just basically like, well, what about, uh, what about me? They're basically just like, so what are we doing here? Um, and she gave me her number and um, now we're texting and stuff and we're gonna get to know each other better um, but that was like instantaneous like I had literally just got here so hopefully you guys are liking the new scenery a little bit of a break from the beach and the walking station one to three showing you some jeepneys which hopefully will never get phased out and uh, just showing you a little bit more I'm walking from SMR at a market market right now just did a live go check that out if you haven't but uh I figured I'd do a video since my lives only get like 25 viewers or sometimes they get a lot on the back end. They might get, you know, 600 views on the back end, but um, they certainly don't um, get that much on the front end. So we're going to take you down here in the real Philippines, um, not just show you the safe area, show you the jeepney pickup area and the locals and we're going to show you what's cracking out here. But yeah, so anyways, back in BGC, already met a girl, great girl employed and uh you know apparently i'm the first foreigner that ever got her number yeah right but yeah we'll take we'll uh we'll accept that answer anyways um just uh really loving it out here in bgc and i know i had said oh I don't, i'm all about the beach and i don't like the air quality and this and that to be completely honest with you i'm loving it out here i've already blocked off like eight days on my airbnb schedule i think i'm gonna block off an additional week and spend about uh 15 days here minimum if not like the whole month and uh next time i go to barakai i'll probably set it up for airbnb and hire a manager and just kind of go back and forth with it look at that jeepney i love seeing those so yeah uh i don't know maybe i'll get over it after a week or something but right now i'm kind of liking it i think for meeting girls and dating and stuff um uh bgc is better it's just a much bigger population and um, I, I don't know, maybe I'm hallucinating, but it seems like every Pinai is um, staring at me or interested. Um, this girl tried to say she thinks I'm 38, so maybe that would be the reason. If I look anywhere even in that realm, that's probably a little bit rare for a foreigner residing here. I love the way this looks with the Benz emblem on the front and shit. Look at how cool that looks. For a while. But yeah, anyways. Um, just showing you the jeepney. Oh, that shit went out. Yeah, this guy waving. Pretty friendly, another jeep. But yeah, so met her. We're gonna get to know each other better. Been texting. Um, okay. Um, gonna have to move or something. Oh yeah. But I went to pen shop. I asked about a sando. I thought I was talking like someone from the Philippines and then they thought I meant sandals. So I didn't get my sando. But now I'm going to uh, Market Market. I forget what I'm going there for, but I'm going there before they close at 10. And uh, I'm really kind of feeling BGC. I think I might stay out here for a month or a couple weeks or whenever I feel like going back to Barakai. And maybe I will bring a girl next time. Maybe I won't. 
I don't know, but uh, just gonna enjoy living the dream and having two places. And uh, this girl seems kind of promising, but I know every day it's I met a new girl, so we shall see, guys. But uh, we're just gonna keep it positive and enjoy what Manila has to offer. There's millions of people here rather than like 37,000 in Barakai. Still love Barakai, not really flip-flopping, just probably gonna do 50%, 50% and certainly rent out Barakai to at least pay for itself. I mean, rent out BGC. And next time I go to Barakai, I'll get that rental ready and hire an Airbnb manager. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick one and tell you about my adventures of the day. Met a gentleman on the plane flying home who's a young uh, guy like myself, uh, or maybe a little bit younger than me. I don't really know. He was like going bald, but looked very young. And I could have sworn he said 31, but I don't know if that's possible considering he had less hair than me, but certainly a good looking stud and uh, enjoying Southeast Asia just the same. And we had an awesome conversation. And uh, yeah, just uh, had a great day. Glad to be home, as much as that sounds crazy, as much as I've said, oh, it's all Barakai, this and that, BGC, the air quality's too bad. I don't know, it ain't affecting me right now. I guess 22, 24 days of that clean air. And I'm happy to be back uh, with certain amenities and just kind of the whole vibe of uh, just how many women there are out here and how much money there is here and stuff kind of think I'm just going to do a 50-50 split, if not spend, you know, 22 days here since I just spent 22 days there. So yeah, I just wanted to do a quick update vid, tell you guys what's cracking with me and show you Metro Manila, BG Sizzle, Market Market, Shangri-La in the distance, um, Jolly Bee, everyone's favorite, Ayala Malls, and McDo, my favorite. All right, guys, got to run in and take care of some things before they close in 20 minutes. And I will catch you on the next one. But we'll let you go through security with me just for fun for a while. And, uh, and be quick.